Hello, this is Akiko Sedano from StampinInTheMeadows.com and welcome to my uh, Facebook Live session today. Let me check here. Hold on. Okay, let me go ahead and get started. Um, my name is Akiko Sudano, and hi, Karen from North Carolina. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Akiko Sudano, and I'm with StampinInTheMeadows.com, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Downingtown, Pennsylvania. And uh, today I'm going to make a card using um, these uh, fun papers from uh, the Playing With Patterns uh, stamp set. And I'm going to show you a few, a few things. Before we get started, I just wanted to uh, put in a quick plug for bonus days. That's um, the bonus days program is uh, a Stampin' Up! program. And it's uh, where if you uh, make a purchase of $50 before shipping and handling, then you will get a coupon to spend after the new catalog comes out next month for $5. That'll uh, discount your pro uh, purchase in August. So that's definitely a good deal and something to keep in mind. Um, for today's card, I wanted to also talk about um, the concept of challenges. Um, we're going to make a card using uh, this uh, sketch, which is part of the uh, Fab Friday uh, challenge. Now, with Fab Friday, every week they come out with a new color palette or a sketch for you to make uh, a card with. And there are a lot of different sketch challenges. Hi, Patricia. So I encourage you to uh, take a look at them and if you are ever in a situation where you're just kind of stumped and you're looking for creative ideas, the challenges are a good place to go because you've got different um, layouts for cards, different um, color palettes that you can choose from. And also they have each of the um, challenges have design teams and they come out with some pretty awesome card layouts for and card interpretations of that particular layout as well as all of the different entries that people um people uh like me just um enter in uh their uh challenge and every and then they some of them choose winners um I don't always get to be the winner but it's always nice when you get to be the winner Hi, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me. So for t this challenge, I'm going to enter it in the Fab Friday 193 challenge. And my plan is to use the stripe paper to represent the background here. And then I will uh, make a floral panel that will put um, in, in this section here. And I'll use this pretty little scalloped uh, die cut that I cut out with the uh, the prize peony dies, the peony dies is I think what they're called, the little scallop thing that is so pretty. And I'm gonna put that underneath for this. And then I'm going to cut a thank you label and um, put it, um, use that to represent the, um, the, uh, the banner that they have. And different people have different interpretations and it, um, it, it's always fun and it's nice to see. So let's go ahead and get stamping. The first thing I'm going to stamp is um, the uh, the floral panel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, Calypso Coral ink. So I'm going to put some of these other things aside and use the Blossoms in Bloom uh, stamp set. And we're going to use just the, uh, the stamp set um, for the... Uh, the little floral panel. I'm not going to use the uh, the awesome dies. This is just this is an awesome stamp set. Um, I think the dies are just gorgeous um, because they have that layered thing. But we're going to just use the stamp set um, to make a pretty panel because it's it's a distinctive stamp and it's got um, different. It has a watercolor look to it. So first, what we're going to do is I'm going to, and I'm going to stamp this in Calypso Coral. And I'm using, since this is such a big stamp, I'm going to use my Stamparatus to put that aside. And I'll bring that in the center here. Stamp, I'm going to use my Stamparatus because the entire stamp will fit on there. But I'm just going to use a 
little bit of that. And I have a old style um, Calypso Coral ink pad and um, just ink up, ink up the stamp. Put it down and that's good if you have a, a if you if you're dealing with a large stamp the stamparatus is a, a good uh, is a good alternative plop that down all right so I'm gonna also stamp some of those flowers on the uh, lower corner here so I want to um, put that up there, I think. If I put this right here, that will hold it. Yeah. Actually, I want to stamp this off so that it's just a little bit lighter. So I'm going to pull this off. Go down once. And then... my inside panel down and then go down again so that it's just a little bit lighter so it's a little bit of something for the inside corner so now we're finished with that and I can put that away and let's finish stamping our panel here I'm going to use uh, Night of Navy for stamping the flower centers. And there's uh, the, this uh, stamp set. Oops, put the bow, put the bow up, away. It's got this uh, just lots of little dots, and we'll um, stamp that in the center of each of the flowers. This is going to be a very very boldly colored flower. But that playing with patterns um, paper is uh, such a, a, a fun, fun set. And let's do some for the inside here. I think this, this little guy right here. I'm not sure if he's going to show because we'll put a strip of uh, designer series paper on top of that. But it's there. Going to maybe also I just a little bit on the edge edge here I'm, I messed that up okay I think we'll be all right so cover this up and then the next thing we're going to do is use some coastal cabana for the leaves and this, um, this stamp set has two different leaves. It's got one, uh, a big leaf that's got um, some, uh, uh, some different lobes to the leaf, and then it's got some uh, smaller leaves that just have uh, just a single loaf. But we're gonna go ahead and use the big one. And we'll put, um, put one right here. I'll put some in, in the corner here. And maybe just a touch down here. We're going to end up cutting this too with the die. So I'm not quite sure what's going to end up staying and what's going to end up being cut off. But we'll um, get everything. There we go. And add a couple of leaves. We'll stamp them off to the inside panel here, too. Let's see, I'm not sure how we can disguise the fact that we've, uh, I messed up the stamping there, but there's a little, that's not too bad. Okay, and that's good enough, I think, for the leaves. 
um, and then we'll get some crushed curry ink. And the stamp set has um, a few little tiny flowers, so we'll give it a. a, a we'll use uh, some of this to give it a touch of uh, touch of yellow. Let's stamp this off. And then let's make three of them. And I'm using the same flower, but that's okay. Makes it easier. All right, and I think we're done with that. And I think we're pretty much done with the stamping on this guy. But uh, we still have our uh, our label. So we're taking the thank you sentiment from the stamp set. And this is Night of Navy ink. And we'll stamp it right in the middle of the uh, Calypso Curl panner, panel, the little strip saying thank you. All right, good. I think we're good with our stamping here now. Now, I'm going to take the um, this little banner die from the uh, Tasteful Touches die, and we'll use that to cut the thank you. See, that fits perfectly. And then we'll cut out a uh, stitched rectangle for the... Uh, for the flowers, and I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. So there's a pretty little thank you and our um, floral pa panel. And those can be thrown. So um, I think we're set now. Now we can go ahead and start assembling the card. So the first thing we're going to do is attach the floral panel to a uh, Knight of Navy mat. And I'm going to do that with the, the new stamp and seal. The uh, yes, I think the uh, the the playing with patterns was uh, is such all of the colors are inspired from the playing with patterns designer series paper, and it is uh, got some really bold uh, colors, and they're really pretty, and especially for like this. This time of year, we're we're having. Uh, I'm not very good with this stamp and seal yet. I have to practice with that more. Um, but especially for this uh, hot summer, we're having a heat wave now, um, and it was just in time for the fourth. There, that looks good. Turn it over and. Rub it down so it doesn't move. There we go. And then, um, next thing we need to do is we need to um, ad adhere this uh, little guy. So I'm going to just put um, the stamp and seal on the back here. Hope it takes. There we go. And let's align this up. So that it's kind of in the middle and so that it's kind of straight. There we go. Then we want to be careful because uh, there's still a lot of sticky on the back here. We want to be careful we don't mess that up with anything. I'm going to just put that on 
upside down here. Let's uh, do the uh, stripe panel. See how it's got the, uh, co uh, I think that's crushed curry. Oops, I need to push this up. That's crushed curry. It is just so bold and and really pretty and fun. That's the, the thing with it, too. It's really, really fun. Okay, so now I'm sliding off. Scooch over. There we go. Okay. That's good. That's the way to do it. I tend to go fast, and I tend to be uh, a little bit uneven with the pressure. And I think that that needs to be even with the pressure, but it really sticks nicely once you get it in there, once you get it on there good. Hello, Debbie. Thanks for joining me. Okay, so we have our back panel done, and we've got our, uh, um, our art panel done. Let's go ahead and... Um, adhere the uh let's adhere the uh to the inside of the cart like that do that more practice with the stamp and seal good more practice and then the better I get with it Stick it on. I'll just stick it there. And then. And we'll just trim off the edges. And all of the, the sizes I'll have in my blog tomorrow. There we go. Push this aside and then. There we go. We're really having the heat today, and I'm sure that, um, especially you ladies from North Carolina, I'm sure you're getting a lot of heat too. And I hope everybody had a nice 4th of July. We, we did. Cooked out. Yum. Too much food. And then several of our neighbors did their own fireworks. Yes, hot and humid, I'm sure. <gasps> Several of our neighbors did fireworks, and they, um, I don't remember the fireworks that, you know, you do in your neighborhood as being uh, quite so, uh, they, they had the, um, the good stuff. I was really impressed, and we had, um, since it was so close, it was nice because we had, uh, it was right in our backyard we had close-up views of it and we didn't have to contend with traffic coming home or going to like the park for fireworks that's always deterred me in the past but and luckily everybody was safe and now it's um it's uh it's hot, so so all the grass will die out now. So we got that done before everything dried out, which is good. Oh, okay, so now we'll put our panel 
on, and I'm going to put this on with dimensionals too, so that we've got additional. Additional dimension. I think it's always nice when you see like a shadow underneath uh, one of your uh, the pieces of your cards. It's always fun. Here we go. Last. Is that two? That's it. Okay. So we'll put this on. And we're going to align the paper here with the paper here so that it, uh, it lines like that. Good. And then I think this guy will just put down with uh, some glue dots. Here, here, this is good. But right there. I think you can come down a little bit. There. And yes, let's put the bow on. We'll put the bow right on the corner here. This is uh, the playing with this bow. This is the this ribbon is from the playing with patterns ribbon. And, um, and I think there's a couple of different ribbons in this combo pack. It's a ribbon combo pack. And it is just so shiny. And then it's kind of sheer with all these, uh, these uh, uh, coastal cabana, um, like thicker pieces in it. It's kind of a stiff ribbon, but it's pretty. We'll put that in the, uh, the corner here. And let's see. I think that... Um, Let's really kind of go overboard and let's use some uh, some of these uh, little, these are the resin dots. And these are, uh, introduce a new color here. The purple posy. Really make it wild and colorful. Lift that up and go underneath it so that I. Yep, sure. Against the orange. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. And this one, let's put just right here. All right, and I think that I'm going to add another one of the purple posy dots to the inside. Why not to disguise our little boo-boo? There, we got him. There. Always some way to recover a, a boo-boo in a card. And that's my card for today. And I hope you like it. It's very colorful. It goes with the hot weather. And um, thank you so much for joining me today. And you guys have a great week. And we'll see you next week. And be safe. Bye-bye.